So Android Authority posted this article today and I found it kind of interesting because we don't normally see prototypes of devices that never really hit the market go live on the internet. Yes, we sometimes see prototypes, especially at these tech events, but we never see them really hit the internet and see a kind of inside look at a prototype. So once these images got leaked today, I was like, wow, it's kind of interesting. Let's take a look at what we're seeing because this is a foldable phone unlike many other foldable phones. So of course, yes, we do have the Xemi. I, I don't know how to say exactly say the name of the company, but this is a prototype of a foldable phone that looks a lot like, as it says right here, the Huawei Mate X series. Of course, it does have an outward foldable phone screen, which I still don't know how these would ever work out in the market. I'll be honest with you, you know, with my Z Fold 4, I still baby the inside display. Even with my Z Fold 3, I still baby the inside display there too. I could never imagine like an outside foldable screen. Literally the outside, instead of being Gorilla Glass Victus, would, which what it is with many phones, it's going to be a plastic thin glass layer. I would never feel comfortable putting my pocket. I would never feel comfortable having it anywhere pretty much. This is crazy in all honesty. This is why these phones really do not work out. Especially look at the side. So this is all one display. So it curls around the side, which is just asking for disaster. But of course, right here we do have BAM. Uh, this and by the way, this is the back display, by the way. This is not the front display. So this is the back of the phone. The front display is literally just one screen that you can peel off and make one gigantic tablet. So we have a uh, one, two, three, four cameras. It looks like we also have a flash and we have a microphone right here. And is that a IR blaster? I'm not sure what this is or it was an AR blaster. Kind of interesting. But anyway, though, our next picture we have here, of course, shows that there are two batteries on this phone. So we have one at the bottom and of course one at the top, which is not surprising at all. It did not have wireless charging, which, you know, let's be honest, that's very common when it comes to foldable phones outside of Samsung's foldable phones. None of these foldable phones have wireless charging. Simply do not. I think Oppo does, but other than Oppo, Vivo maybe too, but not. Usually a lot of these like phones that are either never hit the market, they hit the market and they just don't sell. They usually don't have foldable phones. I, you, yeah, usually don't have wireless charging in any way. All right, so let's go to the next picture. So right here we have a similar picture, which of course is going to be, actually wait, is that a wireless charging pad? No, 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 it can't be. And this screen, so this is exactly how the phone works which is so weird to me in all honesty, but this is how the phone works. So as you guys can see, it folds outward. So it's one gigantic display. And then when you want to put it away, instead of folding it like this or like this, you literally just peel it back and fold it like that. That's so weird to me. I, again, like I said, I, you couldn't pay me to own this phone. You really couldn't. I would just be, I wouldn't want to use it. I would want to put it on the shelf and never use it because the risk of damaging it would just be so high. It just really would not be worth it. And to be honest, this is like, I don't know. To me, to me, this is the ugliest looking phone possible. This is might just me, my personal opinion. And again, I might just be completely crazy for saying this. I've seen, again, like this is not the first time we have seen a phone like this, like they said with all, you know, it's very similar to the Mate X. This is very similar to a lot of different foldable phones that simply never hit the market and always become just prototypes because they just don't work out. They really don't. And really just the screen. Um, Cause in all honesty, I don't think there's any real issue with this phone outside the screen. There might be issues with the battery. I don't know how the battery would work when it comes to overheating. You do have two batteries here pressed against each other. So if we go ahead and go look at this, you do have two batteries pressed against each other when you have this phone technically closed, which is, you know, would be open, but technically closed. I'm not sure how overheating would work with that. That there would be a problem there. 
you couldn't even have wireless charging in all honesty i'm just kind of thinking about this in my head now because how could you have wireless charging when both sides of your phone's a screen there's no back panel really this is this is the back panel right here let me go move my mouse this is the back panel right here where the camera modules are so that is your back panel so in order to have wireless charging you would have to have it in that little like stick of a corner that would not work out like i said i, I just it, it does amaze me because the luckily when it comes to new foldable phones on the market we're not seeing many companies keep this philosophy and for the longest time i feel like before the z fold before the z fold 3 became really successful when the z fold 1 then one was can then two was canceled then two actually did come out those when around, around that time period the microsoft surface duo one come out a lot of these foldable phones they had the same philosophy like this is the future this is what people want this just looks like a whole bunch of problems <laughs> so tell me down below if i'm crazy tell me down below if you would actually pick up a phone like this and would you rock this phone daily i mean like i said on paper it's not the craziest it doesn't look good and it just looks like it would be broken within a day but definitely tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. We want to go ahead and talk about this today because we don't usually see prototypes leak like this. We definitely usually don't see stuff like this leaked all the time. Uh, this makes, and let me go ahead and read this part for you guys. A prototype um, foldable phone on Twitter showing an outward foldable display. This makes quite the change for the companies. Uh, me Mix Fold and me, Mix Fold 2. Uh, handsets, check out the images down below and obviously these are the images. So again, like I said, interesting that's what i'm gonna say interesting peace out guys